Rose. God bless each and every one of you. Now let me say, we have provided for our friends in the media definitive proof that the election of conservatives across the federal government has ended global warming. <laughs> of course, that's liable to make the media even more ornery because if there had been a Democrat, we would have apparently had global warming and they would have been in shorts enjoying the hot weather. I want to say to you guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for braving the cold. And thank you for standing up and fighting for freedom. <laughs> Every one of you, this victory is your victory. In November, Democrats were shocked. The media was shocked, although I repeat myself. <laughs> and millions of hardworking men and women across this country rose up and said, enough is enough, and we have a mandate for change. And I stand here today incredibly optimistic and energized. We have the opportunity to do an enormous amount of good. Now, we could screw it up. We could very easily screw it up. But I believe we're poised for this to be the most productive Congress in decades. And there are four big things on the agenda for 2017. The first and the most important is we must honor our promise and repeal Obamacare. <laughs> For six years, Republicans have campaigned over and over and over again saying, if only you give us the House, we'll repeal Obamacare. If only you give us the Senate, we'll repeal Obamacare. If only you give us the White House, we'll repeal Obamacare. Well, you know what? We're out of excuses. The time for talk is over. Now is the time for action. And I got to tell you, I think failure is not an option. If Republicans take this opportunity and blow it, we will rightly be considered a laughing stock. So we can't do that. And I'll tell you, the leaders who've been here, the leaders who've been addressing you today have been on the front lines fighting to take the House plan, which has a lot of problems, and to try to make it real repeal that lowers premiums, that gives you control over your health care. I believe we can get it done. I can tell you in the last week, Four days I've been at the White House meeting with the President, with the Vice President, with the administration, with House members, with senators, saying we have got to get it done. And with your support, y'all are here to talk to your elected representatives. The most important message for all of us to hear from you is we've got to deliver on our promises. We need real repeal. And the test for success is going to be premiums. You look at why people are frustrated with Obamacare, there are a lot of reasons, but the biggest reason is that premiums have skyrocketed and people can't afford their health care. Barack Obama promised the average family's premiums would drop $2,500 a year. In fact, the average family's premiums have risen $5,000 a year. That's what I hear over and over again from Texans. We can't afford quality health care for our kids, for our family. The test for a Republican repeal of Obamacare is do we drive down premiums? Do we make 
health care more affordable for the American people. We can do that, but only if we repeal the Obamacare insurance mandates. The mandates are what are driving premiums through the roof. We've got to repeal them, and we've got to repeal them now. A second critical element before us in 2017 is regulatory reform. Just about every single cabinet member I've met with, among the very first words out of their mouth have been reg reform. I believe this administration's commitment on reg reform is real, it is genuine, and if there's one thing that we can all agree on about this president, he wants to be bold. And I am, I will tell you of all of the issues I'm perhaps most optimistic about reg reform, I think we're going to see, we've already seen the beginnings of it, and I think over the rest of the year, we're going to see job-killing regulations that are hammering small businesses repealed and taken off the books. A third critical issue is tax reform. I believe we will pass fundamental tax reform either this summer or this fall. Now, the details of that are still up in the air, but I'll tell you what I'm urging the president. I'm urging two words, bold and simple. There is power in bold simplicity. Ideally, I'd like to see a simple flat tax and abolish the IRS. Now, some people in Washington say, gosh, that, that's a little extreme. They say, you know, shouldn't we just maybe decrease the top marginal rate to 37.95%? Well, let me ask you something. Is that any more radical or extreme or any more surprising to Washington than electing Donald Trump as president? The voters have given us a bold mandate for change. We have a Republican in the White House. We have Republicans in every agency of government. We have Republican majorities in both houses of Congress. How about we act like it? And the fourth major issue we're going to tackle is we are going to confirm Judge Neil Gorsuch to the U.S. Supreme Court. The confirmation hearings start next week. I fully expect to see Democrats lighting their hair on fire. They may actually literally light their hair on fire. I expect them to scream and yell and do everything they can to impugn the good judge's integrity. But I expect next week also the American people are going to see a judge, a principled constitutionalist, who will follow the law, who will uphold the Bill of Rights, who will uphold free speech, who will uphold religious liberty, who will uphold the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms, who will keep his oath to the Constitution and to defend the people of the United States of America. And you know what? If we do all of that, if we repeal Obamacare, if we see fundamental reg reform, if we see fundamental tax reform, and we confirm a strong conservative to the Supreme Court, 2017 will be a blockbuster year. So every one of you can turn to your neighbor and say thank you. Because it is each of you that got us here to where we are today, that put us in a position to recapture the country. And it is each of you that is holding us accountable to keep our promise, to defend liberty, to defend the Constitution, and to defend the United States of America. Thank you, and God bless you.